Oh, I left it short. Oh, no, I didn't. I got it there. Oh, of course. Yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir. And I caught a tree and went straight down. That was two very bad golf swings. Whoo! Well, not quite what we wanted, but two under on the front, that ain't bad. back ready to play the back nine i am a little full a little sluggish i just ate a big old cob salad so my swing might not be as vicious and violent and athletic as it usually is we're gonna put a nice smooth one on this we're gonna try to hit a nice high cut oh that couldn't be a whole lot more perfect just stop cutting a little bit as long as i didn't catch the tree we're gonna like that one there's my ball went just a little bit long and right Ooh, very fluffy lie. Very, very fluffy, crappy lie. If I try to dig at this too much, it could pop out and do some gross things. So we're gonna go handle first here. Get this thing rolling down that hill. It's into the wind, so I'm probably gonna have to hit this a little bit harder. Oh, I did not catch that good. I'm gonna need to roll a good one here, folks. I'm gonna need to make a long downhill into the wind bumpy putt on winter greens. You can do anything if you believe in yourself. So whatever you do, believe in it. I believe I'm going to make this putt. I don't even have to think about it. Don't even have to think about it. And look guys, if you're watching and that amount of confidence bothers you, you're not ready to play great golf. And now we are on 11 and par five is a dog leg right. And as a crow flies, we're looking at 500 yards. So we're gonna lock in right there and we are off. We are pretty much straight downwind. I'm gonna wave to my friends, say hi, because I'm a social being, hello. Well, that was a pretty bad golf swing cut. Came way over the top of that. Awful sequencing. I saw where this ball ended up and I actually laughed out loud because on this hole, in this wind, normally I'd wanna be like 150, inside of 150 yards out. And right now I have, geez, I got 223 yards in. So about 70 yards behind where I feel like I should typically be on this hole. But it gives me a great opportunity to work on my long irons. So that's what we're gonna do here, 223 yards. So I'm gonna hit a smooth seven iron pretty much straight down wind a little bit downhill and if you go anywhere over the screen you are rocketing out of bounds into some neighborhoods that's probably going to be short landed just in front of the green not a lot of green to work with so this was a point where i actually kind of let outside forces get the better of me you can see i'm waving the guy behind me through this is actually the second time i waved him through and he did not move from his cart so i just assumed he wanted me to hit so now I kind of start rushing, and then you might notice here, my towel blows over my ball like the shadow does, which was kind of distracting. And then on top of all that, I just, you know, hit a bad golf shot. We can argue over what caused the bad golf shot, but it's neither here nor there. I wave the guy through again, I move out of the way. I just felt pretty rude about, you know, filming golf shots while I got a guy waiting on me. He actually hit two shots into the green, but as you can see, his second shot was phenomenal. He's like 250 yards out and he hit that shot that ball just past the flag is his but he was searching for his first ball in the trees for a little while so i hit my putt didn't really give it the best effort made par not the end of the world now we're on the next box and i'm kind of waiting for him to work his way over here but he's taking his time he's taking a picture of the shot that he hit which really doesn't bother me i think he just didn't get the message that i wanted him to play through um so here i am like kind of waving him through again letting him know like hey i'm i'm gonna let you play through but i'm gonna go ahead and hit this tee shot first He's in a cart, so he should blow past me. I'm just walking up the side waiting for him to hit. I, this should work out. But again, I'm pretty distracted because I'm not really sure what's going on. I'm not sure what good etiquette is. So I duck hook this thing very much to the left. And now here we are. When I got up to my second shot on this hole, this is actually me trying to explain what happened. But I didn't do a great job of explaining it. So here I am re-explaining it. I considered ending the video as I was walking up to this ball. 
Uh, luckily, I didn't. So here is my second shot on 12. We are back to the vlog, baby. That is pretty darn good, fella. Get right a little more. Okay, well, we didn't cut quite as much as I thought we would, so we are in the rough, but luckily it's the winter, so there's not much rough to speak of. About 103 yards, a bit of a crosswind. Uh, I think like a standard trajectory knocked down 50 degree. 50 degree because I have to swing less hard at it. It's gonna be about perfect. And luckily that wind moving from left to right, the green slopes from right to left, so it's gonna knock it right into that slope, should stop pretty dead next to the hole. Ah, uh, let the wind grab it. Go ball. That's not great, but we got a little look at birdie. Get there. Oh, I didn't break. This putt's worth about 540 points, so I did not want to mess around on this one too much. Okay, number 13. Yeah, 156 to the flag. Uphill, it's cold, it's into the wind. It's probably playing like 175. I'm gonna hit a nice knockdown eight iron. Come on, beat a one, baby. Hell yeah. We love that. Slope is gonna wanna pull this thing from right to left, but with a left to right breeze, it's probably gonna straighten it out quite a bit. In addition to that, I'm gonna be hitting it pretty hard, so that's gonna take a lot of the breakout. I don't think I'm gonna need to play this outside of the hole. Yeah, right at the last second, I felt the wind die down. I aimed it out to let the slope take it back. No such break. Bummer. We got a fun one here today, boys and girls. This is a about a 420 yard par four, almost a straight crosswind. I'm assuming pretty much just a straight crosswind. And left is no bueno. You do not want to be left on this hole. The trees are thick and they are not nice over on that left side. So I'm gonna have to try and start one up the right side and get it to draw back because with this much wind I just don't trust hitting a low cut up against those trees. That's pretty much perfect. Should be middle of the fairway. Drove that drive. Rode the wind mighty well. Got down here nice and close to the green. Looks like we got about 82 yards. I'm going to hit a lob wedge. Try to land this thing in the cup, basically. Luckily, not a lot of spin going on on these greens, so you don't have to worry too much about this thing sucking off, sucking off the front. Looks like I got a little bit of a gallery on the tee box behind the green. Let's try to stick one close for him, shall we? Oh, bullshit. Sat there and watched me hit this shot. I hit it to six feet and they turned around without even giving me a thumbs up. Weak, weak. He waved at me, I guess that's good enough. And by the way, not exactly six feet, it is six and a half feet. My bad, I didn't mean to lie to you guys, I'm sorry. Why did I put a glove on? Why did I do that? I appear to have a very straight uphill six and a half foot birdie putt. And you know what we do on those? We put him in the cup. No, oh, I pushed it. <laughs> One of these days I'll make a putt, just you watch. Okay, number 15, par three. This hole has single-handedly destroyed more 59 runs that I can count on one hand. When I shot 60 out here, I hit one to about 25 feet directly below the hole and I three putted. I feel like when I'm saying all this out loud right now, I'm helping my chances. And I will not explain to you why I think that. Now it is time to hit a golf shot. I'm going to hit a seven iron. I got 215 yards. It's a little bit downwind. I don't know how much, but I know I don't want to go long here. I want to be short. High cut seven iron. That's the play. Whatever you do, believe in it. I kind of chunked that. If that rides the wind, it might be okay. It's got to go, though. Yeah, it's front of the green. Not the best, but we're putting. Man, all right, we're going to have to give this a wrapping. I have to give this a whomping, a beating, in order to get it all the way up this slope. You can see from that flag bending just how much wind there is up there. Man, I hit that thing so hard. Wow, I hit that hard. <laughs> I don't know that I've hit a putt that hard in a long time, and it is just at pin high. Let's just clean this up for par and get to the next hole. 
we're not thinking about the next hole. We're thinking about this putt right now that I'm about to hit. And there's a lot of wind coming from left to right, and this thing breaks from left to right, and everyone misses this putt low, so I need to focus. This thing's gonna break a good amount. Yeah, see that? I played that outside the hole. It still caught the bottom edge. Whew. The way the wind looks right now, it's not super conducive to hitting driver. I'm gonna hit an iron here, lay up to about 120 yards out, and I'm gonna believe in it so hard. Watch how hard I believe in this thing. Whew. By golly, that could not have been a whole lot more perfect. That might have been the best layup you've ever seen, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever you're watching this on. Got 116 yards, probably playing 125. I was between a pitching wedge and a 50 degree, but I just believe in the 50 degree a little bit more. So that's what we're going with. Gonna hit a full 50, little bit of cut up into the wind. Gonna try to drop this thing right on the flag. really off balance on that one <laughs> and I pulled it and I hit it a little too far but we got a birdie putt I'll be honest not my best swing not my best result but we're gonna take it we're gonna go try to make a putt a little 12 footer for birdie here this thing's gonna break a lot and the greens are slow so that's gonna be a little bit of an interesting read I'm just gonna try and hit this thing nice and firm try to get it to hit the back of the cup probably play this about a foot out to the left and whatever we do we're gonna believe in it Ooh, that did dive. Wow. All right, well. 133 yards. I am running out of space on my card, so I'm trying to get through these last few without using too much video power. 133 yards, a little bit downwind, a little off the right. I'm gonna hit one just at the middle of the green, let the wind bring it back a little bit. And that is about six feet away from the hole. Let's hope we make one of these, pal. Come on now, come on now. Probably more like five feet, actually. Thing's gonna move just a little bit from right to left. Give this a little bit of firm pace right at the right center of the cup. Finally, we got one to fall. How about that? Uno mas. All righty. Whipping wind from right to left. And this is where it happened. This is where my camera ran out of space, my card filled up, and I was not able to capture this golf shot. I filmed the last two shots on my phone, but rest assured, it was not a good shot. It was a Healy block fade out to the right, got saved by the wind, and uh, stopped just short of the right greenside bunker. A lot of green to work with, but not the best lie. Going to just hack this up here onto the green. Really did not hit a good shot here. Left myself about a 20, 25 footer for birdie. Made a decent run. Not great. But, uh, you know, par on the last hole. Not the worst. And that will conclude this course vlog. Thank you guys for watching. And if you would like to play the game that I played today, par points, make sure to go to the App Store, download par points golf, uh, head over to parpointsgolf.com, get yourself a hat like the one that I'm wearing today. And uh, if you would like some personalized advice on your golf game, head over to zip.com. The link is in the bio or the description for everything I just mentioned. And I will see you guys in the next one. Deuces.